Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. Today we're going to do a quick uh, review or look at Ironclads of the American Civil War, a solitaire war game by Patrick Rael. Okay, um, this version that I have is a print and play game, or uh, you can pick it up a couple different ways. Um, one, you can go to Amazon and you can purchase a bound version of the game or you can go to the war game vault and do a print and play um, like i have here so i chose to have the print and play uh, so let's take a look at uh, what we have here <clears throat> and there is an introduction and in the introduction um, patrick gives us a uh, overview of the game and so the solitaire game explores the use of ironclads during the American Civil War through a series of scenarios that teach the system gradually in seeking to capture essential qualities of the battles in a fast and playable system many aspects of these conflicts have been abstracted clarity play balance and ease of learning have taken precedence over intricate rules and historical detail for example, you'll find that the same ship may change its characteristics from scenario to scenario. This is historically justifiable insofar as Civil War gunboats frequently change their armaments, but the real purpose is to generate scenarios that offer engaging narratives that confront players with choices similar to those confronting commanders in the battles depicted. Each scenario consists of a play sheet left and map sheet right. The scenarios with each uh, which each usually take 15 to 30 minutes to play, walk you through the rules. As you progress from scenario to scenario, new rules will be added, basic rules will be upgraded, and scenario-specific rules may come into play. By the end of the book, you'll have experienced the game system in full, and perhaps something of ironclad history as well. Okay, so this is a book game, um, which we've seen a lot of recently. Uh, <clears throat> So we have the rule book and uh, it's laid out very well and I believe it is about, let's get back here, looks to be about 24 pages long and of course it's got diagrams and descriptions um, all the way through it. So we have the we have the rules and then we get to the scenarios and you have a training mission so that's how it gets started and then we have um, the poop turtles and here's where you have the um, scenario objective and then over here we have the game board attack of the Virginia and again, we're going to have the same thing again. We have the scenario set up on the left. Then on the right, you have the game board to play on. So it's very easy as a print and play because I don't have any bindings to make the thing lay funny or anything. I can play it with these two sheets. Um, there are a lot of scenarios. This is number nine here, the guns of Vicksburg. Um, and then there are extras. So here we get into uh, the tile set. So probably knowing me, I'll uh, print this page on a cardstock and be able to cut out my tile set. And you have gunboat templates here and key locations along the Mississippi. And then he has notes and he has a lot of notes here about the game. <clears throat> so this is great reading, and he also gives a suggested reading if you're more interested in how gunboats and the Civil War, the American Civil War, went. And then the last thing is a play log. So it gives you a chance to keep track of your play log. Um, and of course, if you make copies or whatever, uh, if you need more. But it's really nice because you can see how you did starting with Scenario 1 and, and keep a history of it. So I'm really looking forward to um, going through the rules and setting up and playing a few games of this. 
and see how everything works. So I wanted to give you a, just a quick um, look at this one and then we'll put it on the table and see how it plays. But uh, it's an interesting subject and not one I've seen uh, too often um, in a game about, but I have read about it quite a bit in the Civil War uh, books that I read. So this will, I think this will be an interesting subject and fun to play. So like I said, um, Solitaire War Game, Ironclads of the American Civil War by Patrick Ryle. And if you're interested in getting it as a book game, you can get it off of Amazon, or if you want it as a print and play like I did, you can get it from the War Game Vault. Okay, hey, short and sweet, um, but we'll get a chance to play a couple of these scenarios and see how it works. And that'll be the, that'll be the fun part of it. And uh, there's quite a bit, like I said, he's got a lot of scenarios in here that teach us a lot of different things. So I'm going to read through the rules and then we'll get it on the table. All right. Well, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. All those things help my channel. And I look forward to playing it and we'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Have a good one.